this is saying, for this week, draw this in your style challenge video. I'm feeling excited to recreate this Instagrammer, Pound of Cakes, and it's fun and challenging to recreate her Medusa into my style. It's so surprised that the combination of purple and green can work harmony as both color can be so contrasting. And here are some brief introduction about Medusa in case you are wondering who is she. Medusa is one of the monster figures which also known as Gorgons in Greek mythology. She was usually represented as a winged female creature with a significant of a head of hair consisting of living venomous snakes. Can't deny that she is gorgeous as well. She has the superpower of turning people into stone. Those who are amazed by her beauty and gaze into her gorgeous eyes would end up turning them into stones. Medusa was well known with her malevolence, hatred, and monstrosity as well. She used to be a kind and the prettiest goddess among the three Gorgon sisters. She had a beautiful hair and fine shape of fingers. Until the rumors has begun to spread that Medusa was much more prettier than the goddess Athena, where people comparing the servant to her master and this got the goddess Athena to be jealous to Medusa. So, what do you think? And here is the end of the introduction of Medusa. Let's begin with our draw this in your style challenge for this week. As usual, I will start to sketch the character's face and the body first. Next is to identify the snake's location over her head. This is the most challenging part of Medusa character. And I pick the similar green as the Instagram version for the face and the darker tone over the head for the shadow. I use white color for the base of the eyes and different tone of the green to differentiate the eyelid and the eyeball. I will still keep to the green tone color shade to blend it with Medusa skin tone. I draw a fancy eyelash for her to make her more attractive as Medusa eyes are her secret weapon to turn people into stones and followed by the nose, lips and some blushes over the cheek. This is the only brush tool that I use for this Medusa drawing. The entire drawing was made by Pen Tool in Concept X. After I have done with the face, I paint out the body and her left hand followed by some darker tone shade and a thick yellow charm over the neck as well. I also choose darker purple tone for her dress. Back to the eyebrow that I totally forget for my Medusa. After done with the eyebrow, let's draw out the details for her charm. The main texture element that used in this painting are snake scale pattern. You'll be seeing in the rest of this video I'll be drawing the pattern frequently. And I use my arc function tool as a guide to assist me to make my line smoother. And I also use black color to draw out the outline for the dress and her breast, followed by some cleavage. After I have done with the body, the final part where Medusa head full with plenty of snake. It's a bit challenging for me. I feel confused at the start for me to locate the snake. Hence, earlier on, I have sketched out the location first so that it is more easier and convenient for me to do the coloring part. Keep watching till the end and find out how did I transform her empty head into a full head of snake with my style. Remember, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.